so much for joining us for News 2 at 4. I'm Erin Morgan. We're so glad you're here with us today. I'm Hannah Powers. We start with an update to a story that we first brought to you on Friday. The owner of a horse sanctuary in St. George says she's devastated after several of her horses were shot, leaving one dead and others injured. News 2 Sophia Radeball spoke with the owner this morning and has more details. This horse is named Pepsi. She was one of the horses injured in the shooting a few days ago and the owner of this horse sanctuary saying she'll do whatever it takes to bring justice to these animals. It's a place Marcy Hippie says she created to be a safe space for horses and other animals. But now her horse sanctuary coming face to face with tragedy. This has been just a nightmare. It's been hell on earth. Hippie said she heard gunshots close to her property on Friday evening. It's not an unusual thing to hear in rural St. George, but she decided to check up on her animals anyway. And what she discovered was shocking. My other horses were running and I didn't realize that they had been shot until the next morning. Hippie said four of her horses were shot, severely injuring three and killing one. My horse Charlotte was dead and I also my goat Ginger was also dead. The shooting, something Hippie says she believes was targeted. The way multiple horses were shot and with the precision that they were shot, it was no accident. News 2 spoke to the Dorchester County Sheriff's Office and they said they're actively investigating the incident. Hippie says no matter how long it takes, she'll make sure justice is served. I want to find who did this and I want to prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law and then I'm just going to come after them civilly if that's a remedy because they're going to pay. This is going to be an ongoing problem now for these horses and for me. It, it's not just a two day incident. They, these horses are injured for life. Now, if you have any information about this incident, you're asked to call the Dorchester County Sheriff's Office in St. George. Sophia Radeball, count on two.